Hi, this is Little Wolf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can. And they continue with Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen 2, Blind. I'm still in the Eternal Prison. I'm trying to locate someone here. Uh, someone who knows something about the the gate device that that the Sarafan Lord wants to use Stay back. below Meridian. supposed to possess someone? Uh, actually, a funny thing about this wheel, the, the, the reason why I have been so unwieldy with it so far is because I'm trying to select it by moving my mouse around and it's very unresponsive, but I recently I noticed but they can just use AD to uh, switch them by one, which is much more, uh, which is much more easy to control. So I should perhaps do that from now on.
Okay, so I think I have to switch it back again so that the doors open and then this will lower and I can use it to jump across. is still here, seemingly, so I'm not sure what the purpose of this even was. or 20 stone, you may go! Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Looks like it. I 
Okay, that was that was actually not a very threatening enemy. Not a very threatening enemy at all. So apparently he, he did survive. Maybe there will be an actual boss fight with him.
Okay, so it actually opens the door on the top. Right here. I don't really believe he's dead, cause he has fallen into water before and survived, so I feel like I am going to meet him the third time and we're going to really duke it out. Okay, there's a literal invisible wall right here, which is a bit weird.
What's the what's the actual purpose of this room? There was seemingly nothing there, but at least the switch is active now, so I guess I had to do it to enable it. Wait, I could have sworn it was it was blinking. I'm rather confused. It is blinking very clearly, so... I don't really understand what's going on. What is that? Prisoner, I require information. You are not a jailer. I beg you, release me. First, you must answer me. I seek a prisoner in this place, a builder. He created a large device that lies below the city of Meridian. <laughs> seek no further. I am he. How fortunate. I intend to destroy this device. I was told only you can tell me how. I can indeed help you. But in return, I need an end to my suffering. Tell me of the device and I will grant you any request within my power. Yes, yes, the device. The device was built as a weapon eons ago when two races warred with each other for dominance of Nazgoth. It houses an ancient creature whose very mind is capable of killing any living thing with but a thought. The device was to channel the mental energy of this creature and direct it onto Nazgoth. It would attune the creature's mind to kill all living creatures except for my race. Before it could be completed, however, I was imprisoned here, and the rest of my race was banished to another far more terrible realm. So this device was never finished, and yet the creature still lives within it. It was dubbed the Mass. It is eternal and deadly, yet harmless without a channel for its mind. But we never completed the weapon. We needed a way to send its energy out of the device and into the land itself. We needed a conduit throughout the cities, a network, if you will. But once this network was created, the device would channel the mental energy of the mass and send death upon our enemies. You say a network, placed like a web throughout a city. 
We never completed the network. We never used the device. But the Seraphan Lord will. The glyphs. He is using the glyphs to channel the mass, to wipe out the city, humans and vampires alike. That must be his plan. If this is indeed true, you must act quickly. It would be too large a task to destroy the device itself. You must kill the mass itself. You've said this creature was eternal. It has a simple weakness. Blood is like poison to its system. And not any blood, but pure blood from the elder races. My blood. My blood will poison and kill the creature. Drink from me, vampire, and use my life's blood to kill that which I created out of arrogance and pride. Kill me so that the mass will die and the device will be destroyed. You have suffered here an eternity, poor wretch. I will grant you release from your prison, and I will carry your blood in my veins. I will bring the Saraphan Lord's plans tumbling before him. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, so that's interesting because I think he was the same race as the seer you know he's gray uh, and kind of distinct looking uh, but even if that wasn't not the same race as the seer it has been confirmed that he was the same race as the gray creatures depicted in Soul Reaver that were fighting the ancient well I, I guess they weren't vampires at this time the ancestors of the first vampires Mm, and they were banished, you know, this grey race has been banished from Nosgod, but before they were, they afflicted the, the blue race with the, with the curse of vampirism, which I guess is transmittable to humans as well, as evidenced by Cain himself, for example.
Yeah, yeah, that's that's what they that's what they figured. Well, three times the charm, I guess. Although still, I have not seen him actually die. Oh, well, he's just uh, wiggling there mm, beneath the surface. But oh well. Okay, so I'm in an oven. And I guess third time is decidedly not the charm in this guy's case. So maybe there is an actual boss fight uh, awaiting me. where I'm actually going. Uh, okay, this is the beginning again. So, it's kind of dumb of me. I think this is a different place. Yeah, and there's a checkpoint. Great. Great.
Okay, so there is a boss fight indeed. Unexpected. Mm, I'm not quite sure what to do about it, but I feel like him destroying the statues has some kind of a significance. some way to affect him with telekine telekinesis. I guess I can drop him from the pedestal and, and it hurts him you. a little bit. Okay. I'm not sure how was I supposed to know that. Like the game didn't really I, I, I don't think I don't think I've ever been able to use telekinesis against other uh, creatures, you know? It has always been against an object and against a very specific type of object on top of that. Hmm. 
those blades look very suspicious. Like, I wonder if I position myself in a correct place, can he be made to run into them? Is that what this is about? Indeed, indeed, that was what I was supposed to be doing. But I'm just not sure how hurt was he really by that. Okay, that was... Mm. Okay, this is very annoying, actually. This is indeed very annoying, but at least I know what to do. So it should go kind of quick now.
this is actually this is actually quite interesting but I will comment about this statue and the symbol as well uh, once I beat him the next step of this hmm. he has knocked Mobius's staff hmm. so, so is, is it supposed to now break again and fall on top of him or something like that so part of it has fallen off and I do believe that has to be significant right Part or spirits have told me. The fog lifts, sire. Wait, what trickery is this? No trickery, sire. I am your servant once again, your champion. Pathetic wretch. I have no... Magnus? Could it be? It is I, sire. How is this possible? Here, in this cursed place, was my finest warrior. The Seraphim had fallen before him by the score. Together, he and I were invincible. Magnus, the traitor. Is this your reward for betraying me to the Saraphan Lord? Sire, I did not. You left my camp in the night to join with my enemy, like all the others. Sire, no. I wanted only to serve you. I thought in my pride I would strike a blow that would end the war. I went to kill the Seraphan Lord alone. I was your champion. You never returned. Fails you. I tried to kill him. Even now, I cannot remember how he defeated me. I was struck down, helpless at his feet, and then, through his foul magic, he took my mind and transported me here to this hellhole. But what of you, sire? I heard that you were dead. Well, not so dead as some would like to have me. As you see, I have returned. Magnus, my champion, you have suffered long enough. It is with pride that I grant you your death. <clears throat> Sire, my thanks. Oh my. 
my friend. Be free, as the rest of us, living or dead, can never be. Tell me of the creature within. The slaves speak of it as the mass. It has great power, yet it is just an animal. The blood in your veins will kill it. <laughs> How do I reach the device? This passage will lead you there. I will return when the device is destroyed. Toast my victory at day's end. Until then. Okay, so first, about the prison. Uh, it has not been commented on by Kane, but the statue mm, that reconstructed during that boss fight uh, was a statue of Mobius, right? Uh, he, he has a very a very distinct staff and a, a hood, a hooded cloak. So that's kind of fascinating. Uh, does that imply that Mobius created that prison? Uh, obviously he, he was a, uh, he, he is a time guardian, so he would mm, like you know, he could uh, travel different timelines. Uh, to 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 gather who he considers to be uh, dangerous criminals or sinners uh, and imprison them there. But I wonder if it will ever going to be elaborated upon more because I'm still not a f not a big fan of the concept of this uh, eternity prison. Mm, but but the inclusion of Mobius there definitely kind of interesting uh, and intriguing. Mm, and the other thing. It has finally been confirmed that our enemies in this game uh, are the Hilden, because I've heard the name Hilden before at the end of Soul River 2, when Cain uh, proclaimed that he and Raziel have fallen right into the Hilden trap, but it has never been directly confirmed before that the Hilden were that grey race that the, the ancestors of the vampires, the blue guys, were fighting in the murals in Soul River. So I guess this game at least completes that part of the puzzle. Um, so the Hilden were banished from Nosgoth by the ancestors of the vampires, but instead, uh, you know, um, in return, they afflicted the blue humanoids with the curse of vampirism that still continues to this day. But this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.